hey y'all what's up it's your girl the new wife i hope everybody's day is going well um so i'm going to officially make tuesdays on my youtube channel five minute phillips so this is just going to be a day every tuesday where i just come on here and encourage you and just share with you what i feel like god might be sharing with me or how i am in my current uh journey um with being a new wife so today what i want to share with you is that Prayer is essential. So I know we got this essential word like flying around and thank God for all of the essential workers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the doctor to the cashier um, to the janitor, thank you. And I've been a janitor for, I was a janitor for actually three years. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but um, as I was riding and taking my client her food um, and I was frustrated and I could tell I was frustrated because I was kind of clenching my jaws and god was like you just you haven't you you didn't talk to me today and i realized that i didn't spend my time with god like i normally do at the beginning of my day before i talk to anybody so as i'm driving i just started talking and sharing things with him which of course i know he knows but that were on my heart and on my spirit and when i tell you by the time i got to my client's house one of the prayers that i had been praying for like a while and constantly probably for about two weeks was answered and i'm just like man if i could just be consistent and really understand that prayer literally is essential and it's not that i don't know that because i do know that but sometimes we allow life to happen whatever it is, may be with the day or we're in a funk or whatever the case may be so we don't pray and so what I started saying as I was riding back home, I was like, man, prayer is like really, really essential. And I was like, man, I said, um, prayer is like the umbilical cord between a mother and a child. And so I was driving and I was like, hey, Siri, pull up um, the functions of an umbilical cord. And so it started to share with me that not only, of course, it's, it's put it this way long story short it's literally the lifeline between a, a, a mother and a child yes we know that yes we talk about that but literally if that umbilical cord is not functioning right the child could die the child could um experience um health issues all types of things could happen if that cord is not functioning properly the child gets the oxygenated blood that it needs it gets the nutrients that it needs. All of those things are literally linked and produced through that umbilical cord, if you will. And I was like, man, that it just, it kind of brought it down on onto a, a more simpler level or complex. It just broke it down for me even more. And I was like, wow, you, this, my prayer line, if you will, is literally my connection to God. Not that I didn't know it, but today it, I understood it in a different way. It's like, if I don't take time to spend time with God, certain things with me are not going to be developed right. My heart won't be developed my, right. My attitude won't be developed right. My spirit won't be developed right. Because I am not allowing what I need to come from God because I'm blocking, if you will, or I am stopping the growth or stunting the growth because I'm not being consistent with that connection between us and it's really really necessary so i wanted to just give this to you as soon as i got it yeah i'm sitting in my car so this video is probably a little dark i'm sorry about that but i really just wanted to give it to you as soon as i got it, as soon as i could pull over just know that prayer literally is a must the bible says to pray without ceasing so i'm just encouraging you to push to and sometimes I'm not just saying to push in your own strength, but really you need to spend time with God. You must. So I'm at 426 right now. So I'm going to pray really quick um, before I end this video. So Father, we thank you. We trust you. We bless you. We magnify you. Thank you that you are still speaking in the midst of everything that's going on, dear Lord. And forgive us for not spending time with you because that's what you want that's what you desire and when we spend time with you you give us what we need you give us strength you give us power you give us purpose you give us revelation you give us um courage 
So we thank you for that. We bless you. We magnify you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Five-minute fill-up, y'all, every Tuesday. Much love.